This time on Rad Rat Video, we talk about whether Rodney Mullen deserves credit for the Nolly flip, even if he didn't land it first. Let's get into it. Welcome back to Rad Rat Video. Here on the channel, you can learn something new about skateboarding three times a week, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all kinds of stuff like trick histories, game reviews, uh, learning tricks on the shred school, all kinds of stuff like that. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I just wanted to address an article that came out uh, on Trans World a little while ago. So they have this really cool series where they talk about the origins of a certain trick. Origins of a nose blunt, of this or that stale fish. Recently they did one on the origins of the nolly flip. And you should definitely go read that. I'm not going to go into extreme detail on all that because it's a really good article. You should check that out on your own. But to summarize it real quick, the first nolly flip known to be done on video was in 1990 by Ollie Mills. And so he is skating in this video part. He does a lot of really interesting stuff, like possibly the first frontside flip on flat. They had been done in mini ramps uh, before that. But he does this dark stall transfer. He does a lot of really interesting stuff in that video part, but he does the first nollie flip. And for a lot of people, that was a huge deal because back around 1990, the nollie was a standalone trick. It wasn't a stance. So they talk about that a little bit more, but you could nollie into a manual, you can nollie into a bank, you can nollie over a gap, but you wouldn't really do tricks in nollie. You're not thinking nollie kickflip, nollie 360 flip. It was just one trick, a nollie. And so for a lot of people seeing that video part, really opened up this idea of doing nollies in their head um, as a stance. So one thing I'm really jealous of with Transworld is when they have a question, they just fire off an email to Rodney Mullen and they get it all cleared up. But this time his answer was actually kind of controversial. Uh, it was causing a lot of discussion around Facebook and in comment sections and all that kind of stuff. So I thought I would throw my two cents in there. Uh, this is what he said. I'll just quote him right here. Heel flips were done with hardly a nod, merely as putting a minus sign on a kickflip on one axis. I don't remember when, but it was clearly shortly after kickflips were first done, circa 1983. Fakie kickflips were not even considered a variation then. Same with fakie heel flips. Minus signs directionally. Could make the same argument for double flips. Point being, I'm not sure if it's worth bothering. Certainly it isn't for me. So I found that to be very interesting. Um, I think about the way that he learned the kickflip, it's essentially like he invented a whole category of tricks. Back then you had a lot of different types of tricks. You could do finger flips, you could do bonelesses, uh, no complies were starting to come out. I have a video about that right here. Um, there were a lot of different types of tricks you could do and he just invented the idea of bouncing the tail off the ground and kicking the board, making it flip and landing on it. So whether it flipped this way or that way, those were all minor variations of this one idea. The kickflip was the idea of a pop and a flick, whether it's rolling fakey, forward, switch, um, and which direction it flips didn't really matter, to him anyway. And I think what he's thinking about is kind of like the 900. So the idea of the 900 isn't that remarkable. Anyone who had seen someone do a McTwist could probably get the idea, what if he did another 360? Right, so they invented that idea, but it was a race to see who could actually physically do it first. So um, that's kind of what he's talking about, where he invented all the different parts of this trick. Does it really matter who would put them together first? So I have a video about the Nolly, and it seems like he probably invented that too. So if he invented Nollies, he invented kick flips, he invented fakey flips, he invented double kick flips, heel flips, double heel flips. Does it really matter if someone else squeezed in one variation before he did? And to be fair, he might not have. So Mullen actually learned Nolly backside heels in either 87 or 88. He's not sure, he just remembers what board it was. Um, and I would imagine he probably did a Nolly flip around that time too, um, maybe as a stepping stool to get up to that. But the point is, um, does it really count as an invention when it's just a variation on something? Does this count as like, you know, Mullen does a 360 flip. Well, this guy did a 540 flip. Did he invent the 540 flip or was it just an obvious extension of something that's already there? So I wanna hear your comments about this topic because it's kind of confusing um, whether it matters or not. The fact that it has such a big impact shows me that it does matter. 
because even if he wasn't the first to do it, even if more advanced variations had been done, I know Dan Gallagher was trying nollie hard flips around that time, um, even if other people had done stuff first, he inspired a lot of people to go out there and do it, and he learned it on his own. Um, in that article, he says he'd never seen anyone else do it. But um, I want to read the next part of Mullen's quote here. What he says is, by all means, give Ollie credit for nolly flips as a street trick if it's in your heart to do, but also realize by that time, clearly other forms were done and could be as hard to designate as a backside shove. So I have a video about shove it's right here and the inventor of the frontside shove it's pretty obvious, backside shove it not so much, so you can get a little context for that right there. Uh, concomitantly, I had to look up the definition of that word. Uh, it means concurrent, but in a lesser way. Uh, potentially taking credit from other street dudes and stirring up strife as these things sometimes do. So what he's saying is that a lot of other variations were done, a lot of other people were doing things too. To point out this one thing as being so important and so big might make other people upset. So like I said, he'd been doing nine backside heels for a couple years already. Um, who knows who else were doing other things out there. So did Ollie Mills invent the nollie flip? Uh, it's kind of up to you to decide. I highly doubt he was the first to do it um, in general, but even if he did, is it an invention or is it just the first to land it? I know in a lot of my trick history videos on my uh, playlist, I've got a million of them, I try to phrase things in that way where who landed it first, not necessarily who invented it, because that can have a different meaning. So I want to hear your thoughts on this topic below. I just wanted to cover this because I thought it was kind of an interesting topic. Uh, let me know what you think about this. And until next time, here's some more videos for you to check out. Got all kinds of different topics I talk about, all kinds of different series. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. And you can keep learning about skateboarding three times a week. Thanks for watching.